So here's the new iPad here with a USB in the high. So who are you? I'm Jeff Ravencraft. I'm the president and COO of the USB IF. And uh, uh, you are uh, responsible for all the USB stuff, uh, Type C and everything? Well, all of the standards. We do certification and compliance testing of USB products. We do logo licensing. So if a product passes our test, the company has a logo license with us, and they can use our product logos on their product packaging. You have to pay a license? There's a license fee, uh, one-time fee. One-time fee. And then uh, this is the iPad Pro. Uh, what does it do right here with the Type-C? Which is Type-C on the iPad? Yeah, this is the brand new iPad Pro. So it's Type-C connector now. And this is connected directly to this Zeus monitor over USB Type-C. The iPad Pro is driving the presentation. The monitor is charging the iPad Pro back the other way. Nice. So it's display, display port over Type C. This is running um, display port over over Type C. Why did the display port win this battle of doing the alt mode? There's also the HDMI alt mode, right? Yeah, there still is. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but the display port is more popular. Uh, you. <laughs> You'd have to ask like an industry analyst. Uh, I, I don't know what the percentages are. But um, DisplayPort is obviously uh, one of the popular uh, solutions. And uh, what are you showing over there? So this is an HP laptop. Yeah. There's no brains in here. Yeah. The brains is coming from this Samsung Note S9. Yeah. So again, Type-C. It's driving this video from the phone. There's no brains in here. It's only a keyboard and a nice. display. This is a very nice lap dock, but it's a little bit heavy, and uh, not, not many people have bought it, right? It's uh, and it was it was released with a Windows Windows phone. Well, it was they had an HP phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the Samsung phone, and we're just showing that. Basically, this becomes your PC. Yeah. And it's so getting a... It, it's charging the laptop over and Type-C, and that's passing the charge through to the phone. If you connect a USB 3 hard drive here, right, is it going to get the full bandwidth all the way to the phone? If there was a USB 3 host port, uh, you can do both video. Do you, do you lose anything in the bandwidth if you do video? If you do display no. port Type-C, you don't lose anything in the bandwidth. Well, it's the okay. USB data rate doesn't affect the video. It doesn't have anything to do with the video. So it's totally separate signal going through? It's DisplayPort. DisplayPort signal? DisplayPort all the, mode. So if you have a USB 3.1, 10 gigabit, right? Yeah. It's, then not, none of those 10 gigabits are used for the video. That's right. So you get the full bandwidth for doing all the USB stuff you want to do. Right. 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 Cool. All right. So I love this. I, I think this should be... Uh, so popping out, this should be the future and everything. I'm hoping to see more of this. I'm yeah. even trying to see if uh, we can, some through factories in China, trying to do a more affordable version yeah. of this. So, um, yeah. every phone is going to have this in the future, right? Every phone is going Type-C. You would think so. Because, you know, if I could carry my, all of my, basically have my phone be a, my computer. Yeah. I just plug it into a display and a and a keyboard. Yeah.